Let's see how to upgrade MacBook Pro with the 16 GB RAM and uh, an SSD storage. In this process, I followed five important steps. First one, of course, backup important data. Here in my case, I took backup to an external hard disk. Second one, create a bootable USB with the desired macOS version. I prepared this in another video whose link could be found in the description. Next one is to upgrade the RAM. Here I followed exactly the same steps as mentioned in the support article. First remove the bottom case. We have cut around 10 screws to be removed. Then remove the existing memory. There are some pictorial representations how to remove the memory. Then install new memory. And then finally uh, replace the bottom case. I recommend reading this article once uh, before you proceed with the RAM upgrade. Now let's begin with the process one by one. To remove the screws, we need to use PH00 screwdriver. Because the screws are of different length, we need to note down the location so that we can replace it correctly. Touch the metal surface inside to discharge any static electricity. I will also disconnect the battery connector. Now push the levers on the sides and release the module from the slots. Then remove it carefully. Do the same for the second memory slot. Now I am going to place two memories of 8 GB each. We need to put even pressure to push down the memory module and there should be a click when you insert it correctly. Do it similar way for the second memory module. Now let's see how to upgrade the storage to SSD. I'm using uh, Samsung SSD H60 EVO and here we need to use two screwdrivers, one a PH00 and one Tox T6. First I will remove the retainer bar using the PH00 screwdriver.
Now carefully lift the storage and detach the cable. Now we need to remove the four mounting pins on the sides using the T6 screwdriver. Here is our new SSD and now we need to attach the mounting pins on the sides. Now we can attach the connector. Now we can bring it back to the bracket and place the retainer bar. And finally place back the battery connector. Now we can replace the bottom case. Now the final step in the upgrade process is to boot the machine with a bootable USB. Keep pressing the option button when you power on the machine. You can see the option to install macOS version now. Now we could see this will go for several reboots. Finally we will get into the macOS utility where we can install the OS or format the disk. First I will format the disk which we just replaced. Now we will install the OS.
we can verify the memory and uh, uh, disk upgrade i've already imported my uh, backup before capturing these so you may see some storage which are uh, occupied i have a performance comparison video which you can check i will give the link in the description